Hey everyone, this is Jordan with Not TV. It's great to have you here with us. We are here today to share our experience on passing the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certification Exam. We had to do it in a time crunch and on a budget and passed, so you can too. A lot of the study material and media out there focuses on the content prior to the 2021 update by the FAA. We took the exam under the updated rules and had to really tailor our studying carefully. Before going into our study methods and resources, I want to briefly talk about the importance of the Part 107 certification, known by many as the Drone Pilot Certification. We get asked a lot, do I need to take the exam? What if I only want to fly for this reason or that reason? Generally speaking, if you are flying only for recreation and there is no commercial or business aspect to your flying, then the FAA does not require you to take this exam. Though, the FAA still requires you to pass the recreational UAS safety test, also known as TRUST. Now, if you plan to use your drone in conjunction with anything that is business related or can make you money, then yes, the FAA Part 107 certification is a must have. This includes taking photos of homes for real estate marketing or selling photography or even monetizing your social media with media from your drone. If you are unsure about this applying to you or your activities, but you are interested in gaining a recognized professional certification, then we encourage you to put in the hard work and go for it. So without further ado, let's get into what worked for us. We found that most of the resources online were only accurate prior to the recent 2021 FAA update, which speaks heavily to flying over people and at night. On a time crunch in budget, we had to get resourceful. We took a hybrid approach to researching various web forums and YouTube clips. We watched one now famous YouTube video three times, which was by Tony and Chelsea Northrup, took a practice exam three times, attempted the official FAA practice questions, and read both the 2021 FAA UA policy update and FAA remote ID policy each night leading up to the exam until feeling comfortable. If I could find any additional practice exams online, I took them to test my knowledge and knew I was ready when I found errors in the practice exams. We spaced the studying out over a week, first reading and watching the video study guide. We took notes on both the guide and policy updates. Then, by taking the practice exam, we made note of our weak points and focused our studying on them. When it came time to take the test, we passed without issue. All the resources we used are in the description below. As you build your study plan, know yourself and what works for you. From the entire team at Not TV. We wish you good luck and happy flying. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, or follow. Have a great day.